shuttle parking lot it's on the international side of the Atlanta airport so I wanted to take y'all along with me to experience this so please just give me the best seat possible because not all gay agents care some people they'll just place you wherever child if they could they'll place you on the bathroom when I actually got to the gatehouse and I looked at my name on the board or the monitor it said 14 Call me an Uber. I want to go home. I want to go home. Put your head on my shoulder. Welcome to my channel. Anytime I travel, I always, you know, create a folder. But because I'm like all over the place right now, trying to make sure I have everything and. Like I said, I'm all over the place right now. Which is why I wasn't going to put all the, pull out the camera, but why the fuck not? So, I hope these are one of my photos that has like a pocket. I bought, see, no, these don't have pockets. They're just cute. I bought some photos that had pockets, like some vanilla photos. So I guess it was the other one. Let me see. It's cute as well. Okay, so it has to be. Mm, I don't think it's. A, is it? Let me see. I have so many folders. Is it these? Okay, it's these. That's why I said I have so many folders. But yes, as you travel more, you should want to be more organized. Oh, I haven't even opened any of these. As you travel more, you should want to be more organized. So, six count file, for, file folders, classic foil. Cute, simple colors. So, for my destination of today... I'm going to use this like salmon pink. So cute and chic, right? And then it's a whole folder. Perfect. So that's what I need to complete my packing. I know my lighting isn't the best, but... At this point, we need to we need to get out of here. So, this is already packed. I'm gonna put it by the door. Whatever's not packed at this point, I mean, may the Lord be with me on this trip because I feel like I have everything, but you can just never be too sure. And I ain't got time. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. Let go. That way they know, not one of them. Don't try it, get somebody else. But ask me, do I have everything? I don't know. Normally my mom would be on the phone with me and she'll like go over a list of things. I need my mommy. But I know if I call her, she's gonna wanna talk about everything under the sun. And I got suck Nobody else makes me. Nobody else had a clue what I could do, what I can do. So this is my workbook bag. Victoria.
Victoria's Secret pink Yadda vibes. Stop playing with me. But I brought my notebook because the flight is supposed to be nine to ten hours. So I need my colorful pants. organized if your brain is going to function organization is key welcome to the chaotic organizer no <laughs> the organized chaos <sighs> legit all over the place because why did I think it was organized chaos okay I gotta take out this trash y'all Y'all forgot to remind me. But I knew I was traveling and, oh Jesus, I got a lot of trash. But basically, I no longer use my big trash can anymore because at the end of the day, I will fill up that trash and it'll take me like a week before I take everything out. And I don't like that. I like taking my trash out every two, three days max. I like to get everything out of here. But if you are traveling, I would say it's best to take out your trash and leave the dirty dishes. Because if any type of rodent or bug, I feel like, tries to make itself present in your, you know, residence while you're gone, they're going to come from the trash. Like, they're going to come for the trash. They're not going to come for, I think, the dishes that... Like my dishes, they dirty, but they not like, I don't know, they don't have like stuff in them. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, traveling, difficult, let more. shuttle parking lot it's on the international side of the Atlanta airport so I wanted to take y'all along with me to experience this so I got my 
card once I pulled up and I figured that they did discounts for Delta, you know, airline workers but I wasn't sure. So that is one of the first questions that I asked. She told me they that they do, like they partner with my company. But I have to go online to like our Perks website and fill out like a profile. So she told me what road to park on because there is so many roads. Like there's literally so many cars. And then she said from here, the shuttle which you probably can't see it. it's supposed to come get me but baby at this point <laughs> at this point I'm gonna walk to this shuttle and I have on cozy like loungewear because I'm not trying to be pretty and prissy during this whole process I'm trying to get to my destination So I was like, okay, let me try this place out. And then they have a bar. The bar is crowded. It's small. Like eight people can fit at the bar. Really though? Looking at the menu, like I could have sworn that they sold, or either you would have thought that they sold salmon. I don't see no salmon on this menu. Only shrimp. And because it's Friday night, <laughs> the food court, bucking and booming. The <laughs> lines is tremendously long. I bored within the next um, like 40 minutes. So I mean, I can catch the train over to another concourse and grab something to eat but technically at this time like it's 9 p.m. a lot of the stores or restaurants they close so I don't know I mean, we could explore the airport, but I 100% know, like, I'm not going to eat here. The service, do not disturb the food options. I have nothing to work with. Can we have 
getting two fortune cookies. Is that what I got? Yes. So hot. This is how they look. I like getting the veggie egg rolls because I don't eat meat so I can't get the pork and unfortunately they do not have seafood egg rolls but I have no idea what type of food the flight is going to serve so I just want to have something on my belly just in case because that flight is like um, nine to ten hours and then this is the sweet chili sauce. I already know the shit gonna be hot, but guess what? Still gonna eat it. So deep it, deep it, deep it. The shit gonna be hot, boy. That crunchiness. I'm gonna do it again for y'all. Mm. Mm. I keep forgetting to do the ham. It's like every restaurant here on F is short staffed because I don't know why it took an arm and a leg or forever in a day just to get some food. All of the lines were long and then some of the restaurants that didn't really have a line it's like is your food even good is the question. So I'm sitting next to the club at ATL. I've always seen it, but I actually never knew what it was, so I walked in there today. As soon as I got to the airport, and I asked the ladies at the front desk, like, what is this place all about? And basically, in layman's term, it's kind of like a sky club, but Delta is shitting on this because they said they had food, and she was like, yeah, girl, just walk around and, you know, give it a look. So I walk around, and one, it was, like, really, really small. Like, claustrophobic. Like, you're, like, neck and neck to everybody that's in there. And then, two, um, I went over to the food section. They had, like, hors d'oeuvres. Like, carrots, ranch, celery type shit. I was like, where's the salmon? He's like, salmon? No, the, the menu's here. We got soup. I said, soup? Why the fuck would I pay for soup? But, hot. Yeah, mm, hot. Not too much. If any of y'all watching this video have a membership to the club at ATL, let me know. They allow membership to all paying passengers. Spear Airlines, this is your safe haven, I guess. I have not checked the standby list. If anybody that works for the airlines follows me or is watching this video, do y'all like continuously check the standby list like up into the boarding time of the flight? I don't. <laughs> I just be at the gate with vibes. <laughs>
quarter lane. The general quarter lane is the lane that is closest to the podium and that is one lane only for main cab and one. The Bobby Scott party members in the three boards are one that welcomes the board to that Scott party lane. Okay, as you can see, they are boarding for main cabin one. Um, I'm traveling on standby, so we just continue to wait. I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to clear their standbys until like the last like few passengers. They may call our name to see for the gatehouse, but I've already checked in with the gate agents. It's four of them up there as of right now. I know you can't see because it's a lot going on. Um, two people are scanning passports or boarding passes they're scanning boarding passes but they're checking for passports so they've already made an announcement about that for you to join the line already have your passports out so that way the line can move smoothly um i just check into all my flights because i just be wanting them to know like i'm here and Please just give me the best seat possible because not all gay agents care. Some people, they'll just place you wherever, child. If they could, they'll place you in the bathroom. But um, when I went up there, I noticed that one of the girls who's up there, she's also new. She was in my training class. So hopefully she looks out for me. But child, at this point, I don't know how this should be working. Um, I'll call her back. Okay, yeah, I'll call her back. Um, what else? This whole experience has just been like, <laughs> at this point, just get me to Paris. But I do want to continue to showcase the airport, traveling on standby, um, international flights, and so forth. Again, the bag that I have. It's already tagged to the final destination, so I'll pick it up in baggage claim in Paris. So I don't have to worry about my checked bag. Um, what other information? So yeah, I have everything in my passport pocket. So, seat request at gate. So, this is what I'll use, even though I don't have a current seat. This is what I'll use to board. And once they assign me a seat, my new seat assignment will be printed out. Always at the top right hand corner, it lets you know if you are a standby or confirmed passenger. So, I am standby. It has my priority status on here. And that's all the information I got in regards to the boarding documents. Um, one thing I should say is when I was checking in, the gate agent said, when is your return date? I was like, um, I haven't booked that yet because I booked the one way to Paris. And then depending on like, you know, my vibe out there, since this is my first time in Europe, that's when I'm going to decide like when to come back. Um, and she was like, uh, you know, you could be denied um entry into Paris because you haven't booked the return ticket I was like say less so I said I was gonna book my return ticket like while I was at the gate but I don't really just book it on that So that's, the morning, main cabin two, main cabin two at this time. that's actually some of the announcements that I say as a gate agent when I'm, you know, making my my announcements at the gate. I always just reiterate just like certain things because you that's always have to. Be... Now we'll see when that water contest with main cabin three. Main cabin three, you're now welcome to board. Okay, so that's all the Working on a ramp, that definitely was like a time to be alive I guess because baby <laughs> I used to work on E which is technically like domestic and international flights and we always would rotate like we always would have a Paris flight like each night never fails Lima Peru 
Paris, France. So, because this flight departs at 10.50, I used to get off at 11. Ciao. There was always an issue with the Paris flight and the Lima Peru flight, so we would always have to stay over. I mean, we wouldn't have to, but you know, our manager would want us to. And so now that I am above wing as a gate agent, there's just like a lot you have to do checking in that many passengers or boarding that many passengers for a flight. So I see why they have four people at the gate because that's just, it just be a lot going on. And then the names that she's calling, I'm pretty sure it's in regards to passengers who still need to check in or like verify documents. So those are some of the reasons why we can call people up to the gatehouse um, before we even get to like people on the standby list. And I'm not about all 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 roads, all zones. All zones and all roads for the flight 84 with service and prepares. If you are thinking in a combined passenger, please make your way to the door mark and pull. If you're in a gate house area, please join the line to order this time. Let's go ahead all ticketed and confirmed passengers for the flight 84 with service and prepares. Once again, this is a passport control flight. If you are traveling to Paris this evening, please make sure you're holding your own passport in your hand. Please make sure it is open to the full page uh, to join in the boarding line. Once again, I'm trying to be warning all zones and all roads. Don't play any forward service and If you're currently holding a U.S. passport, please make sure it is signed prior to joining the boarding line. If you need a pen, you have pens up here to be held here. Is my passport signed? Yes. Okay. Right. So, that's the signature area that she's talking about and yes some people will not sign it i don't know if that's like mandatory or by law like it needs to be signed but basically you cannot board unless it's signed so those are one of the things that we check for um i have not worked an international flight like a bug wing as a gate agent since training because there's just so much that goes into um working international flights but i didn't get chosen to work on f so the concourse i work on we deal with strictly domestic flights um but she said confirmed. I'm not confirmed. My priority is standby. So. Hey, for our fair passenger, Richard Phillips. Richard Phillips, if you are in the gate house area, please check in at the podium. Richard Phillips. I'm going to just hold this out. Let me just hold this in my hand. But I'm still going to make my way closer to the podium because I want to listen for, you know, when they're dropping seats, with no, like, no shows, people with misconnections. Um, and I just... Pray, y'all pray with me. Let's just say a prayer. Did they give me a good seat on this flight? Because there should be no reason why. We're... I just hope they give me a good seat. I'm glad I'm recording this experience only because y'all need to see like the good and the bad in regards to like traveling for very low cost or discounted rates. I don't even know, like I can't even tell you how I ended up not making the Paris flight. One thing I will say is I never travel on Fridays. So me personally, I do think it being Friday, being a weekend, now I'm competing against like um, the public, people who got out of school, college students, people who work nine to five and off on the weekend. So I never travel on the weekend, but because of the way like my vacation panned out, I had no choice but to fly out tonight. Well, I had no choice, but it just made the best sense to fly out tonight to go to Paris. 
But yeah, I was standing at the gatehouse. They was calling names off of the actual standby list. But when I booked or listed for this Paris flight, I was number like six. So I was like, cool. When I actually got to the gatehouse and I looked at my name on the board or the monitor, it said 14. I was like, who the fuck <laughs> bumped me? from six to 14. So then me and my nosy stuff, I'm scanning the gatehouse. As you can tell who's standby uh, because of the passengers who are left at the gate. Like after everybody board, most of the time is standby. So I'm like scanning the gatehouse of all the standby passengers. And what was pissing me off is we had large fucking parties. So like we had a party of five, a party of four. All of those people were in front of me. But I want to be nosy of like nosier to know like what were these people's higher days and who are these people because how did all of these people bump me i mean i know i don't like an airline worker today in my uniform like i mean in my attire but like i'm really trying to figure out who are all these people in the gatehouse and how, what's y'all seniority so i'm about to figure out my luggage situation because remember i did not make the flight but I did have a check bag, which is why most people traveling on standby do not check bags because of situations like this. Luckily, Atlanta is like my home, my residence. So um, if anything, I can either get it tonight. It's 10.45 p.m. So the ramp is still operating, but basically my bag is just cold sitting outside the plane because my bag did not make the flight. So in regards to international travel, if you are a passenger, whether confirmed or standby, and you do not board that plane, your bag will not trail you for Delta. I don't know about for any other airline. I'm just speaking for Delta. So I'm about to go ask those questions of curiosity that I have to their like help, help desk that's here on Concourse F. So I mean, I can say, like, I'm a little sad because I did want to go to Paris tonight. It just made the best sense. But they have, like, two or three other flights going out tomorrow. But I am a little Debbie Sounds about it. But Not going to lie. Something different. You must be made for me. Patience is everything. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling. Difficult, I don't know why you love me. You got it bad, you got it bad for me, babe. I don't so glad that I can have this, baby. Nobody else but you. Nobody else makes me. Nobody else had a clue what I could do. ridiculous because at this point I have legit walked around the entire airport <laughs> now this has legit been like a shit show since I have last spoken with y'all yeah. I'm currently in the um, not the international I'm currently on the domestic side of the lobby and it is bucking and booming <laughs> on the domestic side in the lobby Over here, bucking and booming. Okay, yeah, leave me alone. So, since last time I spoke with y'all, get somebody else to do it, right? That's what I said. It's, it's bucking and booming over here on the domestic side because, as you know, the airport does not sleep. Y'all was like, I'm, I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Ooh. Let me let y'all know everything that has transpired since the last time I've spoken with y'all. One, to be told, oh yeah, you would have made the flight if you just would have upped your like standby status. 
because they did let a few of us who were on the standby list on it's just like i was too far at the bottom so they told me if i would have upped it like when i like went one priority up which you're only given so many of those throughout the year so people try to hold on to those my my like where i failed in today's like flop travel is i did not check the flight on my way to the airport if i would have checked the flight i kind of would have known to like up the status of my standby priority or i could have um i could have also done the along with checking in my bag i feel like if i would have checked the status of the flight it kind of would have like alerted me to I want to check your bag or I, I just feel like I wouldn't have been in this situation but basically people who travel standby I feel like have been in this situation that I'm currently in so that's why I don't like really feel like embarrassed that I didn't make the flight because that's 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 how standby works you either make it or you don't and in in today's unfortunate case I did not make the flight so dealing with I had to go all the way from F concourse international to domestic lobby in doing so spoke to the bag reclaim service department they tried to track my bag i'm thinking i just come up there they scan my bag tag boom my bag comes up because other people's bags was coming up the little shoot no my bag is sitting in basically storage on the ramp and the agent told me that it could come up here tomorrow but it's not coming tonight so i'm like you know i'm not gonna be mad. like what's the point there's no there's no point in being mad so i'm not mad and then it's like atlanta's my home so i'm really just gonna go back home if anything i think i'm just more so irritated at me paying for parking <laughs> on the international shuttle like today was a fucking trial run it's like hey if you ever want to learn how to travel standby just like go to the airport and try and so that's kind of like how i feel like today went and so this is one whole day of my vacation gone at this point it's midnight and i'm still at the airport so now i need to get back to f with no bag so i'm not going through tsa again so you have to wait outside and it's 10 degrees right now for the international bus to take you from domestic like to take you from domestic back to the international side because if you don't know that's like a 10 minute drive you know if you want to do it yourself y'all just throw the whole day away Get somebody else to do it. And this lobby is like filled with homeless people. Homeless people, like no if you book niggas, like I'm just I don't deserve to be here. I
I think because I was just like, I need to catch the shuttle to go back to the parking, like where my car is. I think he just assumed that I was talking about a certain brand of shuttle. So basically, what I'm saying is I'm on the wrong bus. We just pulled up to the parking deck and that's not like where I parked my car. So we're coming back to the airport. Like we're now back at the airport on the international side because I parked my car at Fast Park Covered Airport Parking. The current shuttle bus that I'm on is like Park ATL. So when we pulled up, it was a parking deck. It wasn't Fast Park. So I guess, so okay, where do I wait for Fast Park? Upstairs or down no, here? they can go right behind us. So you can just stay on here Oh, she said I can stay on here where it's warm because I've just been missing bus after bus after bus and at this point, like, just call me an Uber. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. <laughs> Y'all, today, like, I just, I don't even know what to say right now. Didn't make the flight. Check bag. Who the hell know where it's at? I'm not leaving with the check bag. Finally make it back to international side of the airport. Get on the wrong bus. So now I still have to wait for the right shuttle. I'm blaming this on the Mercury and the retrograde, cause ain't no way. Oh, you know what? Well, yesterday was Friday the 13th, though. Mm, it was Friday the 13th. No wonder why I made the damn flight. No wonder why I'm on the wrong bus. And no wonder why my bag could not come up. I knew it was something, because I'm like, somebody's playing with me right now, because my life be crazy, but damn, like, I didn't know it'd be this crazy, and starting out 2023 this is not how I'm trying to do it so at this point I'm just waiting in the warm of the wrong shuttle bus to wait for the right one if that even makes sense